my name is Antonia and this is Perry Pictures. This is a special video because today I am finally finishing the fan art that I started two years ago. A moment that elapsed. I'll begin by copying over the old liner to use as my jumping off point. I am a huge Overwatch fan with Overwatch paraphernalia all over my home. I have some of their pop figurines, keychains, and stickers all over things like my water bottle and the whiteboard right beside me. I main Mora most of the time, though I also love to play Orisa, Soldier, Torbion, and sometimes Junkrat. But today's speed paint is of the highly underrated Symmetra, who I also alt. Imagine what this would be. I start off by drawing in the missing limbs and digits that I didn't get to in 2018, including her cyborg arm. If I can think it, I can create it. I had a Google window full of references open on another screen so that I could try and match her design. This is the shape of things to come. Then I add some missing details like her necklace and the visor before cleaning up some of the existing features with subtle changes, such as breaking up the tangent lines of her leg and correcting the circular neckline to a square neckline, which I will get to in just a moment. My condition is improved. I was late getting on the Overwatch bandwagon years ago, but the game never seems to get old to me. I played on Xbox, though I've been meaning to get the game on PlayStation for years now so I can team up with my family who are all PlayStation loyalists. Understood. My sister likes to main D.Va, and my niece plays a solid Torbjorn. If we could get on the same platform, we'd be a force to be reckoned with. I got my husband the Xbox One for Christmas the year that that came out, and I don't remember what year that was, but we kept the 360 so at least the two of us can team up at home with his friends for a match now and then. I had not forgotten you. Even tougher than drawing the hands, one might even say tougher than nails. Her dress was probably one of the hardest parts to draw, and mainly because keeping a steady hand, even with the software stabilization enabled, was really hard to do for the long lines of her pleats. When it came to the center stripe, I basically gave up trying to trace the old liner and decided that would be the one thing that I kept from the original drawing. I also bought her stockings up a bit higher based on the references and finished drawing out the boots that I just never got to in 2018. One of my favorite arcade games to play Symmetra in is Capture the Flag. She is great on the defense, although I've also been able to make some killer offensive pushes here and there when the team is balanced enough to allow her to press forward and set up a nice exit strategy for the flag runner. I will shake order from chaos. That's basically what I just said. By the way, I'll put the website in the description that I use to snag all of these voice lines in case you want to look for other Overwatch character voice lines. They have them in their library as mp3 files and the website was super easy to navigate. I also found the handy color palette swatches by googling Symmetra color palette and pulling the pre-made ones right from colortachhex.com. I tried shortcutting my base colors by using the fill bucket tool, but for some reason I was having issues with it referencing the other layers, which is why there are some flashes of color filling the canvas and me undoing it. How unsightly. And that's why some of the flats had to be manually painted in, but luckily it didn't take as long as I thought it would. In other news, this is a short video and we've already hit the halfway point, so that's exciting. I know in my last video I mentioned redrawing video game fan art for Legend of Ligaia, which is an old PlayStation game, but somehow I ended up doing Overwatch instead. I did have to eyeball her hair color and the gold accent color since those weren't on the palette. But once the flats were complete, I go back to my line art layer and color the lines to help them blend in better. The only tricky part here was getting that stripe from the old line art on her dress colored since that layer isn't really a PNG layer. And to color only the pixels that I wanted where the lines are, I had to find the right blend modes that would only apply color to those lines. With the liner colored, I reached the fun part now, which is highlighting and shading. To keep it simple and streamlined, I just locked the pixels on my base color layers and laid in my highlights and shadows directly to those layers. I don't usually do that, I tend to lean towards creating a multiply layer for shadows and a soft glow layer for highlights, but I felt confident enough this time to contour directly on the color layer. The one exception being her hair, which I duplicated and shuffled through some of the blend modes to find a good pop of color. Before I forget, I also noticed on my references that the gray fabric on her character design has a neat little hexagon texture on it. So I went through my brush library and I found something comparable, duplicated my gray layer with an alpha lock, and brushed over all of it with a new texture. And I shuffle, shuffle, shuffle again through my blend modes to find the right amount of contrast. 
Since this is Sinatra, I also get to do a few fun effects, like with the transparency of her visor, the glint of her jeweled earring, and the glow coming from the power orb on her cyborg hand, which you'll get to see in just a moment. Form and function. And lastly, I did end up using a soft glow layer for the very top of my composition so I could add a thin outline of rim light around the character and her hair, plus a few quick strokes of airbrush to some of those gold accents to give them a little extra shine. After a subtle touch of red, I turned back on the 2018 drawing layer to do a side-by-side -side comparison, and, am, and I am genuinely pleased with how she turned out. The only thing left to do is dress up the background which I decided should be geometric considering the character, and since the Overwatch logo has these vibrant orange triangles around the text, I eye dropped the color from the logo and set to work peppering those around our girl. I am restored. Here is the final. I hope you enjoyed the process. I know that I did, and if you'd like to see more videos like this, make sure to click subscribe and leave a comment so I know that you're here. That's it for this video. I'll see you next time.